Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Dan Quinn eyeing Cowboys return if not hired as head coach. As teams around the NFL look for their next head coach, Dallas Cowboys defensive coordinator Dan Quinn has seen his name come up in numerous searches. But with head coach opportunities dwindling, Quinn has a backup plan should he not land a new role. If Quinn isn't hired as a head coach, he is planning to return to the Cowboys as their defensive coordinator, via Jordan Schultz of Bleacher Report. He is a well-respected member of the organization and would be welcomed back if he chose that route. Still, Quinn will continue to interview for head coaching vacancies. The Washington Commanders, who he is meeting with on Tuesday, and the Seattle Seahawks are the only teams without a head coach. Quinn has ties to Seattle during his time crafting the Legion of Boom. He'll be a highly considered candidate in both searches. But if they fall through, Dallas will retain their defensive coordinator. Which would be a massive boost for the Cowboys. Quinn arrived to Dallas in 2021 after a six-year stint as the Atlanta Falcons head coach. In year one, the Cowboys struggled, ranking 19th in the league by allowing 351 yards per game. Year 2 had Dallas in 12th spot, allowing 330.2 YPG. And in 2023, the Cowboys ranked 5th in total defense, allowing 299.7 YPG. The point is, Dan Quinn has helped the Cowboys' defense gradually improve. Clearly the team understands and knows how to succeed in his system. While the Seahawks and Commanders will look to poach him, the Cowboys now know where they stand in the midst of Quinn's potential HC situation. The Dallas Cowboys have questions to answer at the running back position, and the answer could be Derrick Henry. Henry is one of the most recognizable RBs in the league and as he plots his next move, his training is taking him to Dallas. At Laws Nation created chatter on January 27 by sharing a video of Henry training at the Sanders Fit Performance Center. The Tennessee Titans RB is shown doing a variety of workouts with a trainer at the facility. The hashtag Cowboys should consider adding Derrick Henry to their roster, the post reads. The ex-hashtag Titans running back is actively engaged in off-season training alongside Dr. Ashley Reichert, PT, DPT, at at Sanders Fit in Dallas, Texas. As a free agent, Henry would be a great addition for the Cowboys. Henry is expected to depart the Titans and test free agency after first joining the team back in 2016. After Tennessee's final regular season game, he thanked fans in retrospect in what felt like a farewell speech. But it is important to remember that the idea of Henry joining the Cowboys is just speculation. In fact, SI. Com's Mike Fisher is even stating that Dallas is not, currently, interested in signing the four-time Pro Bowler. Derrick Henry still playing at high level in 2023. If the Cowboys do look to free agency over the NFL draft for their next RB, they could do a lot worse than Henry. Despite celebrating his 30th birthday recently, he has still been effective. Pro Football Reference shows that Henry averaged 4.2 yards per carry last season, totaling 1167 rushing yards and 12 touchdowns. Of course, Henry isn't hitting those totals without getting a ton of touches. He led the league with 280 rushes, but despite being the obvious spearhead of Tennessee's offense, he was still consistently producing. Dallas or any prospective suitor probably won't be able to get Henry back to the level of his 2027-yard season in 2020, but teams seem to know the importance of a two-back system. The Cowboys got away from that in 2023 after Ezekiel Elliott was released. They utilized Tony Pollard as a lead back, and they were far less effective. Compared to 2022, Dallas totaled almost 400 less yards on the ground and averaged 0.2 yards less per attempt. Henry could be reasonably priced option for Cowboys. While Dallas has significant steps to take in order to offer contract extensions and make signings, Henry should be available for a reasonable price. Although he's wrapping up a four-year, $50 million, he's expected to take a sizable pay cut. Spatrak projects him for a $4.3 million salary. Considering his track record, that feels like a small investment. Even if the Cowboys were to sign Henry as a secondary back, his skills in short yardage situations would be huge. 
but that's where any team interested in Henry has questions to answer. Entering his 30-year-old season, should he be getting around 15 handoffs a game? Will he want to sign with a team if he's being used as the second option rather than the first? Whether the Cowboys look at Henry or not, his free agency saga will be one to monitor. Cowboys DT named breakout candidate after quiet end to 2023 season. After flashes of brilliance during the 2023 season, one Dallas Cowboys defender is now being projected for a significant step up in 2024. Cowboys fans have already gotten to know DT Osa Adigazua, but the analysts at PFF think he could be introducing himself on a national level soon. In a recent article picking breakout candidates for the 2024 season, Adigazua is named for the Cowboys. The blurb mentions the 25-year-old's hot start in 2023 and that he was still being graded well despite his production dropping. Adigazua managed just three sacks on the year, all within the first two weeks of the season, and has never finished with more than four in a year, the January 26 article reads. However, he also finished as the 15th highest graded interior defensive lineman, 81.4, with the 12th best PFF pass rush grade, 80.0. He should deliver even bigger sack numbers in future seasons as long as he continues to produce the strong underlying metrics that he has continued to build upon in his NFL career. Adigazua has provided another pass rushing threat for an already stacked Cowboys defensive line. While Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence earn the plaudits on the edge, Adigazua is disrupting from the interior. Adigazua's career so far, even earning a few sacks a season as a defensive tackle is big, and Adigazua has done it twice. The former UCLA Bruin has seven sacks over the last two campaigns, and he's contributing elsewhere too. Pro Football Reference states that he totaled nine tackles for loss in 2023. For context, only Parsons and Lawrence had more on the Cowboys roster. And while it was disappointing that he did not earn a sack after Week 2, he was still credited with 13 QB hits. It's difficult for 6 feet 2, 280 pound to land sacks on modern quarterbacks. Instead, what teams really want to see is a player push interior lineman back into the pocket. If a QB can't step up into his line to make throws, he's going to have a hard time. Adigazua has provided that so far, but if PFF's grades and analysis are correct, he could be due for a monstrous season in 2024. Cowboys DT entering final year of contract. One of the reasons 2024 could be a breakout campaign for Adigazua is that it will be a contract year. He will be a free agent in 2025 after completing the fourth year of his rookie deal, and he will be looking to maximize his second NFL contract. That being said, the Cowboys could look to reward him early and potentially save money in the process. Adigazua has looked the part in his first three years, but hasn't broken out yet. The primary problem with doing that is the cap space situation. Dallas is currently $11.5 million over the 2024 cap limit, but player releases and restructures will help. But considering the need to pay players like WRCD Lamb, contracts like Adigazua's aren't the priority. Either way, it creates an interesting situation both the Cowboys and the defensive tackle. He's got plenty to play for, and Dallas has plenty to consider ahead of the 2024 season.